she just thinks I can do it all. Goes perfectly whenever he touches it. In so her mind. I don't have And I'm over there stressing out. i in the world when mm -hmm. he takes care of something. Exactly. Edgy Farms, it's all about God. It's an early Sunday morning. Had a big rain come through last night. <clears throat> so uh, Megan's in there making me a cup of coffee. And we're just gonna take a walk on down through the property and kind of see what things are looking like after the big rain. I cheated, I already came out and uh, <laughs> did farm chores this morning. I did them before the animals even woke up. You know, it's, it's, it's always a beautiful thing when I can get the farm chores done before the animals even, you know, start begging for, for hay and grain and things like that. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand here for a minute and wait on my coffee. Megan's in the camper making coffee now. I can smell it from out here, it smells amazing. And then we're just gonna walk around and walk and talk and see what the farm looks like. She's nervous about this coffee, y'all, because she brought a new brand of coffee and she's been trying to tweak it to get it perfect. <laughs> Got something for me? Yeah. All right. Come on with it. I'm nervous about it. Let's see, see if I can grab it. All right, it looks good. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, ready to walk and talk? Yes, I'm ready. All right. So I guess before we head from this part, let's just kind of give a status of the farm and where things are. So I guess we can turn this way and show you the tractor, the truck, let me keep turning, and the van. T tell them what the connection is between the tractor, the truck, and the van. Well, everybody, yesterday. everyone's battery just went kaput for whatever reason. The two truck batteries both went kaput, and two truck batteries. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Then the van battery. The van battery. We we, we crunk it up yesterday morning, and literally the the battery. We should have got some video of it, but it, it was too too much of a detrimental situation <laughs> because uh, it was letting off toxic fumes, like yeah, it was smoking. It was, smoking. It, was it was about to explode. It uh, smelled like rotten eggs. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we had been smelling that smell for a couple of days, you know. Uh, we didn't know what it was. And we didn't was. know what it was. We just thought it was something in the air. And we finally realized that it the smell was, was following us. Right. The van. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, when we smelled it again, and it was down here, and it was by the van, we were like, okay, this is connected yep. to the van. And I popped the hood, and literally the van, the, the battery was smoking mm -hmm. like, like it was about to explode. Not good. Not good. And so we gave it about an hour to cool down, and then uh, we researched a little bit. And we thought that the motor might have got the battery too hot. And then we thought the alternator might have overcharged it. But we think we just had a bad battery. And uh, I think I may have overcharged it because <laughs> the battery went dead in the van one day. And uh, Megan told me. And so I, I pulled out my Black & Decker uh, battery charger. And, uh, you know, <laughs> to make a long story short, the charger didn't want to charge the battery. But I decided to make it charge the battery. And so it, it, it charged the battery in the van. And the guy at uh, AutoZone said, you might have uh, forced the charge on that batter. And I was like, you're definitely right, because I, I definitely forced <laughs> like, that it's charge. Gonna charge. It's going to charge. Like, yeah, my, my wife's van is going to crank. <laughs> and uh, the truck, so the truck ended up, let's see, I can show us. I don't have to show the truck. They seen the truck already. There you go. <laughs> I'm right here. Yeah. I, I was this, turning it away because I thought you were trying to get listen, the truck. Listen, this, this is a walk and talk uh, morning in our pajamas video. We don't I have to be, be were, professional. I thought yeah. you were trying to, you know, mm -hmm. turn towards the truck. So yeah. I was trying to get out the way. <laughs> exactly. This is by strategy, y'all, because uh, we, you know, a lot of our, well, I struggle to call myself a professional, you know, on YouTube, but a lot of our other videos, you know, are more like professional, more like, you know, edited and things like that. And uh, we edit out like the bad stuff, you know, the, the, the what is it? Uh, the bloopers, stuff. right? The bloopers. And so, you know, we want to yeah. do a video once a week at least, you know, where we just kind of like walk raw. and talk raw. Exactly. Because, yeah. yeah, he can be like a drill sergeant sometime on those videos. He has a vision for mm -hmm. how it wants to be. And so it's, you know, not a lot of room for it to just, you know, be loose and oh, casual right. and whatever. Like, But y'all enjoy them now, so <laughs> I'm doing <laughs> no, it right. it's great. Yeah. But, yeah, so the truck batteries, uh, they I, I've been charging the truck batteries all week trying to get it going because I want to get the side-by-side -side loaded up and taken to the dealership, and I need the truck to do that. And uh, I charge those truck batteries over and over, doing the same thing, trying to force a charge on them as well. But uh, they wouldn't take a charge, and I took them to AutoZone yesterday as well. And uh, they tested them, and they were just bad batteries. But I bought those batteries in February this year, and uh, I didn't think, you know, they would go bad that fast. That's mm -hmm. why I was still trying to charge them. But they were bad batteries, so they were still under warranty. So they they, they replaced those for free. So I only had to buy the the van battery yesterday mm -hmm. because it wasn't under warranty. And I used the tractor battery. 
<laughs> I took the battery out the tractor because it was the only good battery on the farm out of four four uh motors mo that was four kind vehicles. Of a forceful uh thing too because mm -hmm. the nodes for the connection on the battery were actually on the opposite the side, side. So I had in to the force van. It. I had to so rig it up. It, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're make right. it work. That's I'm good at making stuff work. <laughs> we were literally, you know, stuck on the farm. The tractor was the only thing working, you know, the truck, you know, wind crank, the um van wind crank, so we couldn't get anywhere, you know. Even the side by side wind crank. Not that you would want to go anywhere in the side by side long. You gotta do, you gotta do sometimes though. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But it was just the tractor and we already know, like you can't go seven minutes in the tractor. Seven minutes yeah. in the tractor is like forty minutes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we took the tractor one day down to the woodlands. It takes seven minutes to get down to our second property in, in, in on in a car, you know, when you're going forty five miles per hour. But when you're going in the tractor, when you're going 10, 15 miles per hour, it literally took 40 minutes. Yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> 40 minutes there, and then I bush hauled for about three hours, and it was 40 minutes back. And that's not including the time that it takes to get from the back of the property yeah, to, to the, the front, front of the property, because that's about another 10 minutes. <laughs> exactly. At, at least five. At least five. Just to get from the front to the front of the property to the farm gates. Yeah. 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 But yeah, so let's, let's just walk and kind of, my arm's getting tired, but. Let's no, just you walk. want me to take a... Uh, just take the coffee and okay, take some sips of coffee. A, and I, can... I know how it is holding the camera. You have yeah. to take mm -hmm. turns. Yeah, so you can drink a little coffee and I hold it up. Yep, so like I said, we had a big rain yesterday. And uh, we're just going to kind of take a look at the pond because uh, the pond was kind of low because it hadn't rained in a while, you know, real hard. <clears throat> and the way that our pond is, it's, it's really perfect. We didn't install the pond. The... Uh, not not, the, not even the previous owners, but the previous owner's granddad, grandfather, yeah. grandfather installed this pond. And it's, it's in the perfect spot, you know, because it's at the bottom of a hill. And anytime it rains, that pond fills up, you know, so it's a, we don't know if it's spring fed. We don't think it's spring fed. We think it's just rain fed, but it's in the perfect spot, you know, down here so that, you know, the rain <laughs> fills it up. So we'll go down take a look at the pond and just kind of. Go ahead. I was just gonna say we do know in that area if you dig a hole, it will yeah, fill up for real. with water. Yeah. So I don't mm -hmm. know if that's any indication, but you dig a hole in that area. It's gonna fill up with water, like like crystal clear up. water. Yes, yeah, beautiful yeah. crystal clear. Yeah, it's down water. down in the bottoms. Yep. Yep. So I guess I'll turn y'all around, and let y'all kind of see what we see as we walk. I know y'all have seen this this view a few times, you know, as we walk, but let me just turn y'all around, and let you see it. All right, y'all. So. Now we're coming up on our creek crossing here. I'm just gonna take our time and just just walk like, you know. It's not about just the video, it's just about enjoying this morning and enjoying this, you know, property and you know, just seeing what the Lord is doing on this property this morning. But yeah, this is the creek crossing here. Just a little small little creek. It goes on down off into that, that little woody area there. And uh y'all saw in one video I dug that little ditch with the bucket of the tractor to get the water not to sit here. Because the uh, water would sit here. Because the water actually rushes through here. And uh, it rushes through while it's raining. But as soon as it starts raining, you know, it just kind of trickles. And then it's, it's not there anymore. And uh, the, the creek off in there holds, like once you get off in that, that wooded section right there, the creek, it kind of holds water a little bit. But yeah, so, you don't, you don't have to try to get out the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to get in the you may, of what you were showing. I got you. Yeah, it's fine. Like I said, it's, 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 it's not a professional video today. Like I said, people want to see you. They want to see you. People want to see you on camera and see you smile and, you know, your energy, you know, so you don't have to run from the camera. You might have something to say. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty early in the morning, so I'm not as high energy, but I do have a smile. Like, it's um, actually um, our mom, Tim's mom, she always talks about how um, she just puts a smile on her face no matter what's going on and you know that's just an encouragement to me people will say you look like you don't have a care in the world and she'll say no i have care all right for real. <laughs> but it just doesn't look like it and uh yeah she just really encourages me in that way you know that no matter what's going on you can dust yourself off you can put a smile on your face you don't have to be grumpy about it mm -hmm. and um yeah so I, you know why not have a smile on your face it doesn't cost you anything and it encourages the next person See, you, you would have kept all of that trying to get out the camera. People want to hear that. We want to hear that. Because yeah. that's encouraging. Yeah. Like, that's encouraging Super to me. me. Just put a, put a smile on your face. Yeah. It's that's okay. good. It's okay. And, you know, I wasn't always like that. You could testify to that, you know. But I think that I'm growing more and more like that, you know. And she has been a, a huge, uh, you know, just example in my life and uh, 
of that and that's something yeah. I learned from her. Yeah. All right. Th th <laughs> thank you, mama, to me and mother-in-law to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, grandma, she's amazing. Slash mama, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. some, somebody got it confused one time. Let's cross over the creek, see if we can yeah, sink down. You call me mama because of the yeah, boys, I, I, and I, I, I call, call him dad. Yeah, I, I have boys. to respond to comments all the time on the videos because I call Megan mom, you know, <laughs> mama. And people think that Megan is my mama. <laughs> and they think that, you know, the boys are my, my brothers, I guess. <laughs> And I have to tell them, like, hey, I'm just saying that because, you know, our kids are little. And whatever I call, you know, my wife, they're going to call her. Exactly. Because, you know, when the camera's not on, I call my wife, babe. And, uh, you know, we, we've had Tim Jr. You call him. When, when he was little, he, he used to call you, babe. For, instead of saying mama, he'd say, babe. He'd be so, in the crib <laughs> calling. We don't actually, I didn't know who he was calling for. I was like, yeah. he's calling me or you? you? You couldn't understand what he was saying. But it was, was like, like babe. Is he saying babe? Yeah. Babe. Mm -hmm. So we had to switch up, and I started calling her, you know, mama. Mom, and I right. call him dad. And so. any, anybody with kids understands that, but I know yeah. when you're watching the video, like, the context may not be there. <laughs> yeah, so, but yeah, anyway, thank you. Thank you, mama, grandma, uh, grandma Lily, you know, the one that y'all see on the videos coming down. She supports us. She, she's like our number one supporter, mm -hmm. you know, like, when, when we've, yeah. uh, anything we've needed, she's always been there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this behind you, behind us, you see the end to our little pasture pasture fencing uh, little project that we're gonna do. Be a farm gate right there in between uh, that pole and that H brace, and uh, all that back there be fenced off. And uh, one of these days it'll be full of cows and sheep and just amazing animals that'll be used to, you know, feed our family and to feed families that's in need. It's gonna be a beautiful thing. So yeah, let's walk on up on the on the pond dam and kind of see what the pond's looking like. You want some coffee? Yes, I would love some. Thank yeah. you. All right, let's see. I can tell you like it because you're drinking it. Oh, yeah, it is good. So you did what, less scoops? Yeah, I only did three scoops of this coffee because it's stronger, stronger. Yeah, it was than just, the other. It was and, and I seasoned it the same, you know. I may mm -hmm. have put a little bit extra sugar and creamer, but it was just about the same. Yeah. And uh, I just put a little bit less coffee. I got you. And I think it's harder when you make a double cup because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes we make two cups, but we're using a little, um, I don't know what you call it, but uh, it's a gravity method, kind of like a French press. Yeah, they see it on the videos. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. so, Off-grid coffee. Yeah, when you're trying to make two cups and you double the strength, it's like super, super strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So here's the pond this morning, y'all. It's full and amazing. Those flowers look pretty. You know, one there, you know, dead and drying. Mm -hmm. That looks like something you put in a vase. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. with some other flowers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is nice. Isn't that pretty? I just love those colors. Yeah. The black and the brown. They still like, they still have liquid in them, too. They're not like just dead, dry and brittle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's nice. fall colors, so. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's fall color, so the flowers aren't necessarily dead, but they've changed their to their fall colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's nice. Our goal is always to clear around the pond <clears throat> to where there's no foliage around the pond. But actually, you know, because that's that's kind of like a suburban, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like subdivision mindset. But actually, the the it's best to clear around your ponds, you know, just like on the dam and things, not having the trees on the dam. But at, around the actual pond, it's best to leave like grass and shrubs and things mm -hmm. because that's like the ecosystem yep. for the fish. The habitat. Right, right. For the frogs and, you know, the crickets and the animals. And the fish the to fish have babies, right, right? Because they, yeah. they like to, the, the bass and the mm -hmm. brim, they like to spawn right on the edge of the pond. Mm -hmm. And uh, they will like have babies, you know, in stick piles and things like that. But they they were rather spun like right on the on the edge. Yep. yep. So the pond's looking good this morning. This is up high. It's, it's rose about what? What do you think about at least a foot or two? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Because yep. it was super low. Like I said, it was it was down to where you could walk right here, and so the water was probably back back there somewhere. Mm -hmm. So yeah. The pond really looks good. We treated the pond maybe a year ago. Was it mm -hmm. about a year ago? Yeah, mm -hmm. with some pond dye. Right and. That actually helped because we had an algae. Was that algae? Yeah, it was algae. Yeah, mm -hmm. algae problem on the pond. It would get really, really thick and green. 
and um, that's actually not good for the fish. fish uh, the animals yeah. drinking them because our okay. neighbors' horses they come over and drink the pond right. water. Dogs drink it. So we treated the pond, and actually, it seems as if you don't have to treat it every, every year, year. Mm-hmm. because I actually like it better when it doesn't have the color <laughs> right, from yeah. the treatment. Looks it has all a blue. natural color, mm-hmm. but it, the algae has not come back. So yeah. I'm really actually very happy with how that treatment worked and you know we'll see how long it works if we have to treat it again but mm-hmm. i love the fact that you don't have to treat it multiple times or treat it every year or have to have it that color you know mm-hmm. the treatment you know kind of works for a, a long period of time yeah and we just bought a treatment from tractor supply mm-hmm. and there's like a little bean bag you just throw out in the middle of the pond we had to use like three or four of them yep. to cover the whole pond and get rid of the algae get in get back over here <laughs> What are you doing? You see how it's laying so low and straight. Exactly. All right. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. But yeah, it, it works. Like I said, because the pond looks good now. No algae. And it's good and healthy clear. looking. Yeah, clear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I told Megan, I don't, even, I don't know how to swim. I know y'all, y'all probably can't believe that. But growing up in the city, <laughs> you know, but I don't know how to swim. But this pond, the way it looks, it just makes you want to like dive in there and swim or take a bath or something. Wash your face, like drink a little water. This water looks clear enough the way you probably could drink it if, if it came down to it. The horses drink it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not saying much. <laughs> that's yeah. what I said, but they have All a little right. bit different digestive system than we do. Yeah, for real. Yep. Yeah, we had people commenting because uh, many of you that saw a previous video know that a lot of our equipment is down right now. And that was just being so encouraging and, you know, giving us tip mechanical tips of what might be wrong and someone even said that they were sorry that Tim is having trouble with the equipment and I was like well, thank you, you know. so much for being sorry for me because <laughs> I'm definitely in need of some sorrow <laughs> around here it's rough but like yeah. yesterday I was running around <laughs> crazy like and, and Megan she just believes in me so much I do I think you can fix anything I think sometimes it's like I don't get wound up enough right exactly because I just she just thinks I can do it all done goes perfectly whenever he touches it in so her mind i don't have and i'm doubt. over there stressing out here in the world when mm-hmm. he takes care of something exactly and i'm over there stressed out trying to make sure that we have a car we were stranded like we literally were. We were. it's like do i take the tractor to the store or do i call one of the neighbors to take me to the auto zone yeah and I, that, that's just not really my style you know i'm like we got all these cars out here that we paid all this money for yeah. all the, all these batteries and tires and <laughs> motors and oil and I should be able to put some together. If I got to take a tire off this car and put it on here, take a battery off of this and put it on there. I love it. Back at the creek crossing. Let's make sure we get across without creek, slipping. Yeah. yeah. More like the mud ditch. <laughs> but yes, yeah, yeah, I. We ought to have one vehicle by the time we put everything. Put everything together. together. <laughs> right. Take the motor out of this. Put it. Take take the seven three out the truck. Put it in the vans. <laughs> No, but actually, so after he finally got the van from the tractor, no, the battery from the tractor Mm -hmm. on the van, then we figured out that the uh, tire was low on the van. Oh, I forgot about that. (laughs) Had two nails and one tire. Two nails in the tire, a nail and a screw. (laughs) And so he had to plug the tire. Twice. And so it was just, you know, it was a lot, y'all. It really was. He handled it well. He didn't get flustered. You know, I'm sure he was stressed out. I was a little bit kind of like, oh, you know, but it was not much I could do but encourage him. So, you know, I'm saying all this to say, you know, Sometimes life is like that where you have all these things. And we talk about it all the time Mm -hmm. where it's a day where you feel like this is impossible. (laughs) How am I going to like leap over all these obstacles? Like it just seems like we couldn't figure out like if it was the motor on the um, van, van, heating up the battery, heating up the battery or if it was a bad battery. We didn't know what was going on because we had so many bad batteries. Like maybe it's the battery charger because mm-hmm. it's not the charge. Yeah, we thought the, the, we thought the alternator might have been overcharging right. the battery, but so we couldn't figure out what was wrong, what route to with take, the van. what to do, yep. and we finally got. We tried to charge the batteries and go in a truck. That would not work. We even tried to take the, the camper battery off the camper and put it on the on the van. Dogs, no. And that didn't work. And so we finally got to the point where we put the tractor battery on the van. Then the tire happened. (laughs) And so it was just kind of... And it was like 5 o'clock by the end. Right. And we had spent literally all day Mm -hmm. doing this. And and I hadn't eaten. And so when I was pulling out, she brought me some cookies because the neighbor... (laughs) 
We should have got some video of that, but the yeah. neighbor bought us some cookies and uh, she called us and said she left them at the farm gates up at the top of the property. So we had some cookies that she sent me with yeah. to go on my battery AutoZone errands. <laughs> so he had a little snack and he would feel encouraged. But mm -hmm. yeah, so I, my point in all that is like you have a day where you feel like mm -hmm. everything's going wrong and you don't know how to fix it, you know. But we, what we've learned is if you do continue... And you don't give up. You don't just cast off restraint and say, I can't do this. That, you know, the Lord does open a door and you're able to figure it out. That's and right. so what seems impossible at first, like there is no way mm -hmm. this can be fixed. Um, eventually it's just fixed. And so right. we've learned that we don't have to get so riled up in those situations that we just need to stay focused, you know, pray, mm -hmm. you know, just ask the Lord to help us. And we know that eventually he's going to work Everything all right. the situations mm -hmm. out. Because every yeah. day, that's why I told Megan that I've been in those situations so many times that yeah. where things seem impossible. And uh, it always works out. Usually by the end of the day, mm -hmm. everything is just worked out. It seems like in the beginning, like this, everything is terrible. Nothing is going right. There's no way I can get out of this. You know, like everything is broken. Everything is terrible. <clears throat> but by the end of the day, all those things have kind of worked themselves out. You know, and you can just rest easy at night. And so, you know, after I've been, been through those situations so many times, you know, now I just know just stay calm, yeah. stay focused. composed and focused and, and just yeah. get it done. The Lord will show me the way because he is the way. And that's what the Bible says, that he is the way, the truth, and the life. So in every situation, he's going to provide a way because that's who he is. That's not just something that he does, but the way, that's who he is. He is the way. So he always provides that for us. So I love it. But uh, I've sacri sacrificed my arm long enough, I believe, because my arm's pretty tired. So uh, we're going to end the video here. It's IG Farms. It's all about God. We'll see y'all on the next one. In the dark, I can almost see.